Today in this video, we're going to discuss what the Platinum Swing Trading Channel at Best of U.S. Investors produced last week. We're going to focus on a couple stocks and we're going to break down how the swing trading program works and what you can benefit from it. Mark is our guide through the swing trading program. He is the mastermind behind all this. So Mark, I'm gonna let you take it away. Tell us what you got from last week and what we should see for the coming week. Sure, we uh, have developed a system, just a process based on some of my experience. And again, it's just for educational purposes only. But we come up with basically a trading plan for swing trading. And it has different oscillators. It has different uh, simple moving averages in it. And we try to utilize the knowledge of, of three oscillators and four simple moving averages to kind of figure out uh, momentum and direction of stock trades. And of course, you know, it doesn't work all the time. We have a pretty good system. We, we have a tiered system of, uh, of, of stock lists out there. Uh, a lot of them that aren't ready yet, but you have to consider that some of our stock lists are like uh, baseball players sitting on the uh, bench and waiting to get into the game. And you move yourself up. So you go from a triple A ball, you go into a pro ball, you're sitting on the bench, and then you move into what we call the watch list where you're actually in the game. So we'll go over that a little bit on what we did last week pretty quick. And first, first stock list I'll talk about um, is our horizon stock list. So these are stocks that from our horizon list, these are these are stocks that are sitting on the bench ready to come in. They don't quite fully meet every uh, one of our guidelines for the uh, trading plan that we put together, uh, but they have potential to, to do well. And you can see a lot of times they do very well, even though they're not on the watch list, but people do trade off of this paper trade only. And you can see you can make some money off of it. And then you get a bad one here like Humana that fell with uh, United Health, and that's why it's not on the uh, stock watch list. But let's look at Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble is a uh, ticker PG. Uh, today's price, it closed at 149.54. That was last Friday. When we listed it on the Horizon Channel, it was 146.56. You can see there were comments here. And when it uh, started to meet all the criteria to be on the watch list, we switched it over to the watch list. But until that point, it still gained $2.98 or $298, uh, basically on a 100 watt uh, share of of uh, stock of Procter & Gamble. So it would go over to the watch list and we'll take a look over at the watch list. So we have our paper trading watch list and we started this back in, in, in January and you can see the trades uh, based on the, the trading plan, the paper trades that uh, we would have gotten into. And we have, this is when it was listed on the watch list. We don't tell you when to buy or sell. This is when uh, the trading plan would issue basically a sell signal and it would come out and, and give you a price uh, when you sell. Now, this is based on risk tolerance and your own personal risk tolerance. Uh, this is set to be highly intolerant of risk, so it's very conservative. When we come down here, we can see Procter & Gamble came on the watch list uh, when it met the criteria for, for uh, our trading plan. And it came on at 148.45 uh, together and, to, and closed on Friday at 149.54. So you can see when it came on the watch list, we're still up about a dollar nine or hundred nine dollars per share. But had you gotten on it uh, when it was on the Horizon list, uh, you would have paid a uh, hundred forty six fifty six. Right now, it's at one hundred forty nine fifty four. Uh, so you would be up uh, two dollars and ninety eight cents a share, or two hundred ninety eight dollars. So you can see how uh, we move from a, a Horizon list onto a watch list, and it has to meet certain criteria. Now, not all of these are winners, but we try to limit the losses on the on the, on the downside and let the winners run. And that's where we get uh, our realized profits since the beginning of the year of about uh, $16,800 in paper trades. Or you can see in June already, we're up about almost $1,900 with about $218 of unrealized profits still uh, to go. So, Mark, the Procter & Gamble trade that is on the screen right now, that's right. still in play at this point? That's still in play. It's still open. You can see these were closed. Everything in green was closed in June. Okay. Everything in yellow was closed in May. So we're still open on this trade. We still have AIG in uh, play right now uh, on, on 612. Uh, that's when it was put on the watch list at 5621. We're at 5730 as of close last Friday. So it's up $1.09 also or $109. So you'll see there's uh, comments over here. 
tell you why these got out. Either they were triggered at a sell limit or they uh, went down <clears throat> below some type of support. And you can kind of learn off this chart and off this watch list what you look for to get in or out of stocks, basically. We also have another uh, watch list, and it's called the below the 200-day watch list. Now, a lot of swing traders won't swing trade underneath the 200-day simple moving average. But we found that there's a lot of opportunity there, even though the risk is a lot higher. So you need to be very careful with your paper trades. And let's go take a look uh, at that particular watch list. So these are this, this is our list trend of the stocks that are under the 200-day simple moving average that are trading or that. And stocks that trade below the 200-day simple moving average are often volatile and prone to sudden price movements, which can result in significant losses if we don't manage them carefully. But they can also show pretty good gains, as you can see. This was put. Uh, this list was put together on the 12th of June, so it's a week ago, and we had 14 on the list. Of the 14, only two were down. Uh, and if you had to put $100 in each one of these, which in your paper trade account only, because we're not advising anyone trade, you'd have been up about 37.20 a share. So we talked wow. a little bit about Coca-Cola, okay? And uh, with Coca-Cola, uh, it became on the under 200-day watch list at uh, $60.47. And you can see the RSI was under 50. We were looking for a back test of the 200-day moving average. And today's price closed at 61.67 or $1.20 a share. Well, basically what happened here is uh, it started to meet the criteria of, of being on the watch list. And uh, it'll probably be moving to the watch list on, uh, on, uh, on Tuesday. We can go take a look at the chart here. So Coke is symbol KO. And one of the things that's and this was really on the two hundred. This was on the two hundred day list last week. This correct? was this was on the under the two hundred day list, and it was put on the list right here. Okay. okay at this level, and here's the two hundred day simple moving average. And the reason it was put on the list is because it's starting to touch up on the nine. And we also have two indicators that went to the green. One was uh, the MACD, and one was the stochastic. But we still had the RSI here, you know, at thirty nine, well under the fifty level. So it went on the under 200 list. The other reason is we saw this big meltdown of, of price action here. And then we started seeing some bouncing up. We're seeing the short-term nine-day simple moving average start to roll around. Um, and so it went on the under 200-day moving average at this point. Okay. So then you see last, this is last Friday, we popped way up above the 50. We popped up above the 20. Uh, and probably at this point, we're going to, say that it goes on the watch list. So you're actually up here on Coke. Uh, since it went on to the other 200 day moving average, it went on at $60.40. Our current price is $61.67. So you're, you're up basically from the time we put it on to right here of about $1.20 a share or $120 on a 100 share lot. So we're looking at this chart saying, okay, I do have a downward sloping Bollinger Band, okay? Showing where volatility is getting a little bit less. This is what we've made in the green so far since it got put on uh, one of our lists. We're going to have some resistance up here, and this is where we see some stop uh, orders place uh, about 62.09, and then we'll have resistance again at the 50 on the upside. On the downside, we'll probably see some resistance at the 20 and then at the 200. Now, one thing I like to do is once you uh, get above the 200, I like to see a back test of the 200. So we may or may not put this on the watch list until I see price action come down and get support off the 200 and then come back up. So a lot of times that's a good place to enter. You get a better price unless, of course, it, this is a false breakout and you, and you drop down below the 200. So, again, this one may or may not be put on the watch list. I'm going to think about it a little bit tonight, but I'm probably going to wait until I see a back test of this 200. Okay. So you see a back test of the 200. It supports chances are it's going to go on the the uh, the watch list. Yeah, there's a probability that okay. either way it could go back down through this 200 yeah. level. Mm -hmm. I mean, you see over here, it tried to break above it a little bit and then couldn't make it and didn't right. make it. So this one did go up quite a bit. We have a big gap here to fill, and I just want to see where it's going to go. We have a big wick that went up, uh, met some resistance here. You can see right where the stops are and yeah. came back down. So... You know, we're going to watch it a little bit. You okay. Know, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily go out and just buy Coke because of this chart at this point. Gotcha. But Would, it's, now, definitely on, it's definitely on a watch list. Okay. So 
let's say midweek, you release your the the list on Sunday night. Midweek, you see Coke retest or by Wednesday, say retest. It shows uh, probability it's going to go higher. Do you put that on the list the coming Sunday or do you do a midweek? No, go right. they're going the midweek. We'd put it on the okay. list. Okay. So you would do an update and everybody would get yeah, that you would, update. Right. You just watch the walk, watch list and it would say Coke and you would probably, you'd see it in the morning before market open. I'll put out a chart and say, okay, this is something I'd put on the watch list. Not necessarily anything I'm, I'm not telling you to buy. It's on the paper trading account, but we'll say, come down, we'll say, look, the oscillators are all green. Yep. Uh, it's looking pretty good. We're seeing some turnaround in the, in the, uh, in this, in this moving averages, the short-term moving averages. Uh, so there's a probability the stock will probably go up. Here's where your, your intermediate term resistance line is. So if it can get past basically um, the 50, you've got some room to roll uh, up here. We got to get past the stop limits right here and then the 50, but you'll have some room to roll up if it goes that direction. Okay. It's all about probability. Now it could go the other way too. Sure. You know, it could, come down here and break through here and then we lose momentum. You'll see these indicators down here turn to red mm -hmm. uh, and then we just don't get in it. Okay. All right. But what we're looking for is this downtrodden bit of price action, stabilization, and then we watch for the indicators to start moving up. So Trent, let's go look at the, the chart of PG and I'll show you where we got in okay. on, the different, on the different watch lists. So this is our chart of Procter & Gamble. You can see right here, Okay, on the 9th of June, this is when <clears throat> this particular stock went on our horizon list. Okay, and it was on this pink line. The price uh, you can see was well, 140 something dollars, and it was because it popped up above uh, the nine day simple moving average uh, when it was down below it. It's above the 200 day moving average. Okay, so that's why it's on the horizon list. But <clears throat> you can see we're still not past the MACD. So we have a red, this is a flag. We're still under the 50 on the RSI, which is a red flag. The only indicator that we have that we watch is the Scholastic, and it was actually above that. So this was the only one on the green flag. So as time went by and you see price action, all of a sudden we see price action pop up above the nine again and above the 20. And at this point, it went on the watch list at about 148.45. And you can see we closed uh, just on Friday at 149.54. So we're seeing an uptrend pattern. We come down and we see our MACD, our RSI, the stochastic are all in the green now, which gives us the indication that this meets a lot of the trade criteria. Uh, and we're starting to see some price action appreciate. We'll have some uh, resistance here at the 50, of course, uh, and we'll probably have some support here at the nine. But this gives you kind of a trading range. And you can see on our, uh, on our uh, watch list, uh, if this comes up and hits resistance, we might put a limit sell order up here because we trade between the lines between support and resistance. So it, you get to res this resistance level. Is this something that if it were to make a move above it, you would stay in the trade or you just take your profits? You could. Now, the 50-day is, is a big resistance level, and you're going to find a lot of probably sell orders at that point. <clears throat> and then above that, uh, you're going to see we have a resistance line, an intermediate term resistance line here, we're going to find sell orders also. So you come over and you look at your price at 151. We are currently uh, trading at 148.90. So we're about $2 on the upside up here to this particular resistance line. Uh -huh. And we're we're about $1.10 to this resistance line. So that's your upside and your downside would be down here to the 20. Okay, at 147.47. And again, we closed at 149.54. So you, you want to watch your potential upside and downsides on the ability to uh, to trade between these lines. Now, sometimes people will come up, they'll get past their resistance or this resistance, they'll sell half of their position because if okay. you still have your indicators that are going green, you you know, it's, it's a good sign for you to stay in the trade. But uh, don't be too greedy and always take some money off the table because you always want to preserve your wealth, preserve your gains. And minimize your loss. Okay. So this one we're looking at the 50 day is the resistance level. And right. depending on the environment, chances are you'll 
you'll take a le you'll put a limit order in to get out. And, yes. And that is uh, shared via the Discord. Is that correct? Right. Yeah. Okay. So when you sign up for the Platinum Swing Trading Program, you are also part of our disc Discord, which is a massive uh, place where we can share ideas. And you have a section that's dedicated to the Platinum Swing Trading. And that's where you share your your morning view of the market before it opens. And then your horizon list, uh, your below 200 list, and your uh, watch list that comes out the day before market opens. So like, for instance, today markets are closed. You'll put it out later today and people can trade off it throughout the week. So uh, we'll do this again next week where we'll review this week's performance and some of the stocks that Mark wanted to highlight. And if you have questions, uh, please shoot us an uh, email. At, uh, uh, you can see the links below. Please hit the uh, like and subscribe button. And to sign up for the Platinum Swing Trading Program, their link is below in the description. Uh, please hit it. Go check it out. We have some different levels for our Discord and our memberships. And along with, we have a couple different portfolios. The Bus 13 portfolio, which is run by Kerry. And uh, we've got a lot of information out there of education and helping you get to where you want to go. So definitely check out our uh, Discord and uh, sign up for the Platinum Swing Trading Program. And we'll see you next week.